Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Know to Grow. So today we'll be talking about the amplitude modulation. So basically we'll be seeing the MATLAB code for amplitude modulation. So we'll not be using the MATLAB software over here. We'll be using JNU Octave. I'll show how to use it. It's something different from MATLAB, but the codes will be same. So let's get started. You can see the interface. Here is the JNU Octave. We'll be just opening it. Uh, we land in this kind of interface. So in JNU Octave, you need to load some packages. If you're not going to load the packages, like if you're not going to load the communication package, your demodulation graph will not come. So how to load the packages, how to start the programming, I'll tell you everything, I'll guide you everything. So now we are in the command window. Now we need to load the packages. Now how to load the packages, just see. You just need to type here pkg load communications. Communications, S is there, okay. Then package communication has been loaded. Now you need to load package load signal no signals only signal so we are done with the loading part now we'll see the codes so you'll go over here new and then new script now you have landed in a interface of editor now you have to type your code over here only so let's start typing our code first we'll be write clc oh i'm so sorry CLC, then clear all, close all. Now we'll be taking a range for T. So let's see, T is equals to, oh, again, I'm so sorry, T is equals to 0 to 0 0.001 to 2. You can take anything. It's just assumption. I have taken one assumption. You can take anything. Okay. Now F1 is equals to 5. I am taking 5. You can take anything. Then M is equals to sine into. Okay. Wait. Sine 2 into 5 into f1 into t then we'll be doing the subplot so we are having six uh, graphs so six one one this one is the first one that's right now we'll plot them plot t comma m and Title is title we write in single inverted comma message signal. Okay. So done. Now we'll go for F2. F2 again you can give anything. I'm giving 50. Then C is equals to sine 2 into so sorry 2 into pi into f2 into t then again subplot 6 comma 1 comma 2 and then it's the plot t comma c and then the title is Carrier signal. So up to here, everything is clear. So we'll see whether it's running or not. Let me name that AM. So yes, it's running. See, you can see the message signal, the carrier signal. So till now we have not modulated it. We have just generated a message signal and a carrier signal separately. 
so we are done till here now we as we all know amplitude modulation is having three cases of under modulation critical modulation and over modulation so we'll be specifically doing all the three parts and then we'll go for demodulation so let's see how to do we'll first do for under modulation we'll take m1 is equals to 0.5 you can consider anything as i said earlier also now s1 is equals to 1 plus bracket m1 into m dot into c now we'll subplot it subplot it's 6 comma 1 comma 3 then plot sorry plot t comma s1 title is under modulation title is yours under modulation is the spelling wrong it's okay. Let me remove this space. It will look better. So now we'll go for critical modulation. Now we'll be taking M2 as 1. Then S2 is equals to 1 plus M2 into m uh, dot into c then subplot uh, sorry subplot 6 comma 1 comma 4 then plot and plot will be what t comma m2 Okay, I'm so sorry, it will be S2 and then title will be what for what we have done it, it's critical modulation, critical modulation, okay, we are done for under and critical, now we'll go for over modulation. We'll take m is equals to 1.5. We know all these conditions that when m is equals to 1, it's critical modulation. m less than 1, it's under modulation. m greater than 1. We, we are just defining it. Okay. So, s3 is equals to 1 plus m3. So sorry, I have to define here over M3. It's like M3, otherwise it it will see the first one. As we have defined there M, it will you know what I'm trying to say. Then M3 into M dot into C. Okay, then we will be doing again subplot 6 comma 1 comma 5 then plot p comma s3 title it's your over modulation Okay, so we are done with our modulation part. Now we'll move forward for demodulation. You want to see what's it's coming? Okay, let's see first. What happened? Something is wrong. Let us check over here. Okay, here in the line 12, let's see what's line 12. 
it's okay there's no such issue i guess see I don't see any kind of error. Why it's not running? Let me check. Uh, what it's saying? Syntax error. Okay. 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 See. See. I. I got it. I have went close the bracket over here. As we have opened one bracket over here, and I haven't closed that. That's why it's, it was not running. And again, I have done the same mistake somewhere else. I guess. Let me check. And it's there in line fifteen. See. Okay, line fifteen here. The bracket shouldn't be there. Okay, now let's see whether it's running or not. Okay, see, you can see all the graphs are coming. It's for critical modulation. It's for over modulation. For under modulation, we are giving the title so that we can specify which graph is for which one. Okay, now we'll go for. A demodulation part. Okay. Now S five. You can take S four also. S five also. S five is equals to S two into C. Sorry, star C. Dot star C. Then B comma A, S comma butter five comma zero point one. It should be less than one, okay? Anything you can take, but it should be less than one. Then filter B comma A comma S five. I will go for subplot at six comma one comma six. Then plot that will be t comma s four. Okay, let me. Uh, it's not moving. It will not move. I don't know what is happening. Okay, we'll write title. Title. D duration. I'm sorry, it may not be visible to you, but it is the same thing. Now let's see and run. What is happening? See, again, this this is not movable. I don't know. Okay, this is the graph. Let me shot it. You can see it properly. See, the graph is coming. This one is for me message carrier. Then under modulation, critical modulation, over modulation, and this is for demodulation. So here we have completed our amplitude modulation and demodulation. So this is. for today's video for more such content stay tuned subscribe to my channel know and grow bye bye